So we're talking about the solar wind and the sun, and unfortunately, with as far as the sun goes, I have more bad news for you. And it's related to this question we have that, you know, we're always drawing the sun as this happy thing, but I'm sort of advocating that maybe we had to start doing this. Huh. Anyway, here's the more bad news. So it turns out, turns out it has to do with the corona, and what the corona is, is the this white wispy thing that we see during a solar eclipse that we discussed. Remember the pinkish hue in there is the chromosphere and the moon here is blocking the photosphere which is usually so bright we can't see the corona but anyway there's the corona now. See it there. So it has to do with that, the solar wind and the bad news because of course the sol what the solar wind ended up being here is an outwardly traveling amount of all these protons and electrons. That's sort of what the corona is. Now why it looks white like this during an eclipse, I wouldn't know, probably because the charges are accelerating all over the place. And as we'll see, uh, when charges accelerate, they make light. But I'll just, that's just a guess at the moment there. So that's sort of what the corona is. And it so this slide shows you then a picture of the solar system. And as always, the distances are difficult to grapple with. But we have a few planets on here. Here's the sun over there. There's the Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and uh, Mercury and Venus just aren't on here but it's still showing you the scale of things. And so what happens is, of course, the corona, the corona might be the white, wispy area around the sun, but the important part, it just doesn't sort of stop here. Like there's no boundary here where the corona just stops. You know, that just doesn't happen. And so what the corona does, those positive, those protons and electrons that are coming out, they just stream through the entire solar system like this, as we mentioned bathing all of the planets in these bizarre emissions from the sun. And in fact, this whole sort of volume here that the solar wind occupies is called the heliosphere. Of course, helio is the term that refers to the sun, and sphere then is sort of like the sphere that all of the solar wind encompasses. So like if you had a sphere like this with the sun right in the center like that, and here's sort of the three-dimensional sphere and all this stuff is going out, it just sort of fills this volume with the sphere here and that's what the heliosphere is. And so all of the planets fall within the influence of the sun or the heliosphere. So see the sun sort of has its claws into us. All of our planet, all of the planets are sort of really in a constant influence by the sun and not just only its light but in this this emission of the protons and electrons or the solar wind. And as you can see, it, it doesn't generally extend, uh, extend forever, but sort of when you get out here, well past Pluto, as you can see here, there's this area called the heliopause where all this action sort of stops, and this bow shock here, which is kind of like you, sh you can think of that as the waves that you see in the water when a boat's traveling. So if a boat's sort of traveling like this through the water, maybe going this way, if you're looking down on it, there's always like these sort of waves that go around and that's sort of like what the bow shock is and then the scary part is that when you get past that then you're really out into inter interstellar space where there's just nothing but the radiation in interstellar space is in a lot of aspects even worse than that through the sun but it's just that outer space is just sort of a nasty place you just sort of don't want to be there even though we are but of course it still begs that question is that how is life survive on earth with all this nasty stuff that's either coming out from the sun or just exist in outer space. Well, it turns out I've got even more bad news for you, and it goes like this. Um, quite some time ago, NASA launched the SOHO satellite, which stands for uh, Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, and the way that's sort of stationed is, if I'm not mistaken, the sun will be here. This is sort of where the sun is right here. And the observatory is a satellite that's up in outer space like that, always sort of looking down at the sun. And if I'm not mistaken, it's sort of synchronized to the sun as well. So it just sort of goes around the sun, always observing it. And this is what the view would look like. And so what they have is they have an, an artificial aperture here blocking the sun because remember this is sort of the uh, this photosphere Ooh, I'm messing this word up here 
the photosphere. I don't have that hyphenated probably, but that's the photosphere, and they have that blocked because it's so bright, and we're just trying to see the area around the sun. And so what we're looking at here is we're just sort of looking at the area immediately, or the volume of space immediately around the sun, and look what happens once in a while. Here's a video, and, and it is running here. Okay, so watch what happens. This is just a direct observation from the SOHO satellite. And once in a while, look at this right there. Look at that. <laughs> and this is sort of another one. This is stereo. I believe that's another solar observer. Look at that. This stuff just comes out like that. And so let me let you look at that again. <clears throat> so we're running. And suddenly, bang, off it goes like that. And here, and look at when the display gets fuzzy, like right there. Do you see all that static that happened? And so these are big emissions from the sun uh, that happen for at random times, unknown, unknown reasons why. But the point is that these ejections here, and these are called coronal mass ejections, coronal mass ejections, uh, or CME, CME is for short. Uh, coronal, of course, refers to that area of the sun, the corona, remember just outside that white wispy stuff that we see during the eclipses, um, and it's a mass ejection. The sun is literally taking its own mass and spitting it out or burping. So the mass is being uh, spit out into the solar system. There's no doubt about that. And you can see how large these coronal mass ejections are here compared to the size of the Earth. So this is these big ejections of hot plasma and protons and electrons and the whole bit just going burp, you know, out into outer space like that. And is this something we should worry about? Well, I will tell you about that in the next video.